Place your text block on the board that you're going to be using for your cover, making sure that the spine and the lower edge are flush with the corner of the board. Then take your pencil and a ruler and mark a quarter of an inch away from the foredge and the top. That's where you will be cutting. With the ruler and a box cutter, gently cut the lines to cut your board out. You will almost certainly get some ridges and some rough edges when you cut with a box cutter. So get some sandpaper and just smooth them down. Use the first board to mark the outlines of the second board. Cut and sand like you did the first board. Lay one of your cover boards on your cover paper and draw around it with a pencil. Then take your half inch brass strip and mark all the way around your piece of board so that you'll have your flaps to wrap around the board. Trim down your paper. Using the glue of your choice, in this case I'm using PVA, brush it onto the board in a fan-like direction from the center out, and then place it onto the cover paper. After you've pressed it, flip it over and smooth out the paper. You can even do this with a bone folder. Take two pieces of scrap board and use them as a guide to help you miter your corners. This will make sure that you have at least two board lengths between the edge of your board and the paper so that it will wrap around more easily. Now it's time to glue down the flaps. Start on the short edge. Make sure you get glue along the edge of the board too and then fold it over like that. You want to make sure that you've glued that down nice. And then you can take your fingers or a bone folder and you can tuck in those little folds. That makes it nice and neat. So you'll need to do that on both sides. Repeat those steps for the other cover, wrap them in wax paper, and then put them under a weight until they dry. 